Welcome. We're joined by the curator of the Kemmel's Art Gallery, Cheryl Neville, joining us today. It's so weird to have you here. I'm usually down there with you. I know. It's yeah. great. Great to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about luminosity. This is uh, not the first year you guys have had this. Let's talk about what this is. This is the second year, uh, so people might remember it or might not. It's a public art event all downtown Kamloops. Mm -hmm. So you can literally go on a map. You can take a map and walk around and see the different exhibits. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. So what I'm holding up is the guide. Uh, so you can pick this up at the art gallery or many businesses downtown. And this is the map of all the locations where the events are happening and I think that um, we've got that coming up on the screen too. And so, it's sort of like a display of lights, the effect of light on things. Is that what it's, it's about? It's video art projects by artists um, who are from Kamloops, who are known internationally and nationally. So uh, you'll see kind of the best video art, um, video art. which is a, a common, like a, a form that many artists are using now mm -hmm. and something that you probably see a lot in our gallery. But but this is a way of bringing it to people who wouldn't normally step into the gallery. Sure. And then you get to walk around the city and see it in a, in, see your city in a different way too. Right. Now this is running uh, for a week-ish, uh, 28th of October until the 5th of November. Yeah. How many different displays are there? Well, there's 20 sites on this map. Um, so essentially, so this uh, pink spot here is the Kamloops Art Gallery. So there's kind of clusters. So mm -hmm. there's a bunch of different projects going on there. Then you can walk to Barnacle Records, and they have a display in their window. Um, the Kamloops Museum and Archives also has a project. And uh, this is Padlock Studios, so you can go in there. And then there's a whole cluster around right at the bottom of Victoria Street. Mm -hmm. um, so in the Brownstone Courtyard, and then there's that empty lot, and there's a whole bunch of projects going on there. The Office of Surrealist Investigations in that window. And then all of these structures, a lot of people might think that we're building a small village right now in Riverside Park. Okay. It's a village for video art. Oh, how um, cool is that? So there's all of these purpose-built uh, structures these these ones right here you can actually enter and it's like going to a theater so there's two different projects there and that pink one we're calling the ox house and it will be it will be kind of the center for events in the evenings basically okay. so once you do your walk through the city you can arrive there Friday and Saturday we're gonna have um, I think you've got some images of what happened mm -hmm. in 2014 let's go to those yeah this is a project that's going to happen um, at the bottom of the park. Um, okay. So is it supposed to feel spooky? It's a little spooky. It's called Deep Dark. So oh. it's really about um, our fear of dark. But then these um, doorways that you walk through and you'll be guided through them. So that's mm -hmm. an interactive one. Okay. Yeah, this is another interactive piece where people will dance in front of a camera during the day mm -hmm. and then their movements will be projected onto the facade of the building at that empty lot at the bottom of Victoria Street yeah. um, by time. laser. Very cool. That's one of our crew members building one of the structures in Riverside Park. A lot of work goes into this. A lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> this this image is um, something that we're using to promote a talk by Levi Glass, who's a young art student at TRU, and he's giving a talk about projections, about video projections in the band shell. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, yeah, there's there's events uh, with bands and DJs that happen inside the Rotary band shell Friday and Saturday, so the 28th and 29th, and then the 4th and 5th of November. And um, it's, it's a big dance party. Redbeard's doing the bar and food. Fun. And um, Red Collar has actually made a specific luminosity beer called Afterglow. How cool is that? A lot yeah. of people coming on board to make this a success this year. Trent. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of collaborations yeah. and a lot of local people involved too. That's awesome. So this is really something that's almost like a self-guided situation. Grab your friends, head down. The ones at the park, you get a little bit more of a, a guide, it sounds like, with the doors. But uh, by and large, you can go at your own pace. You you can, or you can come on my tour on November 3rd, mm -hmm. meet me at the art gallery, just outside the art gallery at 7 o'clock, and I'll take people through all these sites and talk about each project. That's awesome. And then following that, there's actually a performance in the band shell by uh, Ronan McGrath and um, and then two performers who are going to do some movement, so movement and sound. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds like lots of plans underway. Uh, October 28th to November 5th. Cheryl, thank you for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And more information, of course, at the Camels Art Gallery website, which is on the screen right now. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.